scoliosis or deformity is an abnormal curvature of the spine, and typically this is something that can go untreated for years and years until patients get into later adulthood, and then it becomes a problem for them as they start developing degenerative changes on top of that scoliosis that can ultimately lead to pain and uh, symptoms that extend not only into your back but down your legs, uh, requiring treatment from a neurosurgeon. So there's a variety of ways that you can treat scoliosis, and there's the traditional treatments, which are open procedures performed from the back when necessary, but more recently we've come up with some minimally invasive procedures to treat scoliosis and deformity. And oftentimes what we're capable of doing is coming from the side of the spine and removing portions of the spine called the discs uh, that are often the parts that have become abnormally oriented. So if we remove the disc, which is in a wedge shape, and we replace it with what we call a cage or a bone graft that is now that, that realigns those vertebrae above and below and makes them parallel again. That enables us to straighten out the spine and relieve some of the pressure on the nerves caused by that scoliosis. Or during the surgery, there's a lot less blood loss, there's a lot less destruction to the surrounding tissues, and therefore patients have much less pain associated with the surgery itself. They're out of the hospital faster, and they're able to simply get back to life much, much quicker. There are numerous reasons to come to UPMC to have scoliosis correction surgery. You're evaluated by a group of specialists, an entire team of people that can determine what the appropriate treatment strategy is, and then we know how to do both open surgery as well as minimally invasive surgery so that you have the right people making the right decisions to, to help the patient determine what is going to be the best approach to treating their pathology and their problem.